So I made a video about this once before. I was drinking. But this is a, a Zocop or whatever um, portable washing machine. It uh it works pretty well. I'm pretty uh pretty happy about it. I tried hooking it up to a sink and it wasn't working too well, so I'm gonna turn around and show you guys the best way to use it, which is in a bathtub because it doesn't have an actual drainage pump. It feeds off gravity. So it has this drainage line that hangs up right here. And I just take that off and shoot it down. Make it as easy as possible. And then you turn around. You just fill up this bin. We also have a portable dryer. So we bought some uh, liquid fabric softener, which is uh, not a hundred percent better, but it uh, it does a good amount better than you know when you air dry your clothes or whatever, keeps them uh, from not getting so crunchy and thick. So that's kind of nice. So I throw some of that in there. I apologize about the view. I'm trying to do this all one-handed. Put the phone down for a second here. Now you can't wash a lot of stuff at a time. I can get about three regular pairs of jeans in here at a time. And I have to spin cycle them one at a time because they're pretty big and the spin cycle is pretty slow i'll show you that in a second and i mean the thing does a pretty good job the one thing i recommend is it's got these three things this is for the washer you can set it for 15 12 9 6 3 whatever i usually set it for about nine if i got time i'll set it for 12. if i gotta do all the laundry i'll set it for 15 whatever da, 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 da. I never really use a soft set in here. I I never I don't know what it's for, but um, I usually use a standard. And then once it's all done, and this thing will go from nine and it'll finish and go to zero. You hit this to drain. You give it a couple minutes. This whole bin here will drain out. And then you turn around. You got pardon me. You got this little spin cycle thing. Doesn't hold a lot, it'll hold a few shirts, but it works pretty well. You know, it doesn't get everything perfectly dry, but it gets pretty much a lot of the water out of it. I usually set it for about a minute, maybe two, so I can do other things, and it works pretty well. So I figured I'd just post a little video and um, let you guys see how it works. This is almost filled up, I guess I'll give it a minute so you guys can kind of see how it works. My last few videos were a little uh, not so child friendly. I was drinking and swearing, so I hope this one's a little better for you guys and works a little better. Turn the water off. It definitely helps having this, this hose here, too. Turn around. I'll set this for nine. And this one will run with a little open. Get everything going. I don't want to show you too much of that because I won't make it mad. So if you saw this video, and then you just turn around, you fill the shit in here, and you dry it. I'll post another video when it's all done. And uh, I'll give you a more efficient kind of idea about this but the best way to run this thing is in the bathtub and i'll explain to you why these water inlets here they give you this little hose and it barely fits on to a sink outlet and it comes off you gotta hold it you know the first time i had it running into the toilet and like i said the toilet it's kind of gross but it's just not practical that it's gravity fed. So you have this thing sitting on the floor and I had to lift it up to get it to drain into it. So it's just a lot better to run this thing 
in the bathtub, it's a lot better. It doesn't really create a lot of a mess. When I get in and take a shower, I just kind of rub my foot around and it takes care of all this. So, I post a uh, video about the uh, display cycle and you guys can see that. Hope this helps somebody. That's a lot better than the last one. Thank you for watching.